Imagine a warrior so powerful that even gods tremble at his name. This is the story of Jiren the Grey, the powerhouse of Universe 11. Dragon Ball Super's Tournament of Power arc showcased the strongest characters across the multiverse fighting for survival. Almost every new character that had been introduced as a representative of their universe in this arc proved to be a powerful combatant who deserved a place on their universe's team of strongest fighters. Jiren was an anomaly in the tournament and was an almost mythical fighter whose power was rumored to surpass even his god of destruction, Belmod. So, let's see how Jiren was such a powerhouse in the tournament. Even before he made his full debut in the series, Jiren was built up as the most tremendous fighter in all of Universe 11, something which perfectly coincided with the rumors of there being a mortal to have surpassed their universe's god of destruction. Throughout most of the tournament, Jiren's strength was so great that he spent most of his time meditating, never really focusing on any of the fighters due to how great the gap in their strength was. This was true for pretty much every character besides Ultra Instinct Goku. Only during his battle with the Saiyan did Jiren really show any strain or effort, and even then, Ultra Instinct Omen still wasn't enough to make him go all out. This meant that anything under the level of Ultra Instinct wasn't enough for Jiren to take the fight seriously, as was seen in his various battles against other characters where he barely even broke a sweat. Alright Jiren, the real fight starts now. It's not over yet, Jiren! In his brief backstory, Jiren's approach to power and combat is revealed. When he was a child, his family was killed by a mysterious and powerful villain, after which he was essentially adopted by someone who would go on to become his master, who Jiren came to love deeply. However, many years after the initial attack, the mysterious villain returned to the scene and killed Jiren's master. Jiren was far weaker back then and was powerless to stop the monster, and his remaining friends and fellow disciples refused to help him take down the culprit. Due to this, Jiren became obsessed with the concept of absolute strength and devoted his life to it, seeking power above all else so as to never allow himself to be weak enough to fail to save someone again. To hell with your his drive to get stronger and win is the crux to behind his character, trust. which is why he has trained non-stop to become the powerhouse that he is. All that I've witnessed in my life up until now. I know better than to believe in that kind of so-called strength. 
I know how easily it's ripped away! I'll show you! Toward the start of the Dragon Ball so Super, superhero movie, Vegeta is shown to meditate while on Beerus's planet, where Goku asks him why he's focusing on meditation over sparring. Here, Vegeta reveals that despite being completely overpowered and outmatched by Jiren during the Tournament of Power, the gap between the Saiyan's power and his wasn't all that great, implying that in terms of sheer might, Jiren wasn't outside their power level. How's sitting on a rock gonna help you win a fight? You're an idiot, so I'll try to keep this simple. Okay. No doubt you remember Jiren's fearsome power. But in terms of raw strength, he wasn't far removed from you or me. Hmm? The difference lies in how efficiently he used that strength. Did you notice? Even when he was in the heat of battle, he was free of tension in both body and mind, remained totally relaxed till the moment he attacked. However, the only reason why he seemed like such an insurmountable obstacle was because of how he utilized his energy. This training allowed Jiren to maximize his power output, using almost every single drop of his energy in his strikes without wasting even a little bit of it. This mastery and self-control over his ki was the deciding factor in terms of their power gap. Since Jiren found the perfect balance of his power, every single blow that he dealt had as much strength and energy behind it as possible. With this revelation, Goku and Vegeta's trajectory for the future has changed since they now realize the importance of energy management in a battle more than ever before, due to which each of them is on track to becoming the most powerful version of themselves possible. By using their energy most efficiently, the Saiyans will see benefits in terms of their overall power as well as in their transformations and power-ups. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content. See you in the next video. <laughs> right, that's what you get for doubting the greatest in the cosmos. <laughs>